maybe that was it. My name is John Valerga, and I'm a scientist at the Space Science Laboratory at UC Berkeley. I work here with my colleagues, usually on satellites, uh, detectors for satellites and astronomical satellites like the Hubble and satellites that are going to Mars and even Pluto. Uh, we're up on the hill in the Berkeley Hills above the Lawrence Hall of Science, and we have this beautiful view of the bay. We often see light reflected off big picture windows, and we see these beautiful bright lights throughout the bay that come and go depending on where the sun is. So we knew that if we could uh, use a mirror, we could do the same thing. We could shine the sun's light anywhere we wanted to, as long as we could point it in a very accurate fashion. Helio means sun, stat means stationary. So it's, what a heliostat does is it keeps the reflection of the sun in a spot. So as the sun moves through the sky, the, the heliostat mirrors track the sun at the right angle such that the beam of light it reflects is always in the same spot. Now we can put that spot anywhere, by just changing some angles and some change our algorithms. We wanted to celebrate the bridge's anniversary. We thought we could use the heliostats and put them on top of the bridge and act as very bright lights at the top of the bridge that we could beam anywhere in the Bay Area. And almost like candles on the top of the bridge as, as sort of a birthday cake candles. The concept for this project originated back in 2005 when Lillian Lin, an artist in residence at Space Science Lab, was here for the summer and we brought our ideas for uh, reflecting sunlight to her and it turns out that she was uh, involved in prisms and sunlight throughout her career and it was a great match and we used that to start our this project. That's too far, go back one to the left. We can control okay. the angle which they are via a cell phone modem and so we just send commands to it and it will go to the angles at which we want it to go to. Now we've cal we can calculate those angles as long as we know where the sun is which is easy for astronomers to calculate and where the observer is. Yeah, that's it. Mark it. And so anyone who can see the towers of the Golden Gate Bridge will be able to see these lights. Observers who want to see this will have to schedule a specific time, and at that time we will send the beam of light to them. They can go on Google Maps and use a little cursor and put, put a mark where they're going to be, and we will calculate, or we will have that send us the latitude and longitude. Putting Solar Beacon on top of the bridge we felt was a great educational opportunity. Being at the university, we're educators here, and we want to uh, bring the public's awareness of science and, and engineering. We want to bring it to their attention, have them uh, be engaged with the outside world, and at the same time understand that it, the, the work in engineering and science that it takes to do something like this. So it's not just art, it's not just science, it's a combination, and we hope that aspect of it intrigues them to do both.